<sighs> Man, that was so close, guys. Jeez. What's up everybody? Bonnie here, welcome back to another video. Man, I'm super pumped. Today we're targeting Gag Grouper in like 12 feet of water. We're gonna be fishing docks for, for the grouper. But uh, right now, we're looking for pinfish. We're gonna chum up for pinfish and uh, any other baits we can get our hands on. We want bigger, bigger size baits, like, I don't know, like palm size. Something big to throw at the grouper. Um, I also have this Rapala X wrap to throw at it if they don't want the uh, live bait, but I'm pretty sure they'll take the live pinfish. All right, guys, let's get to it. We got a bag of Purina chum. Pick this up at uh, St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. You can get these at Tarpon Fishing Outfitters, Tampa Fishing Outfitters. It works really good for greenbacks, just bait fish in general. I don't think Mahara would take it, but uh, but it works good for white bait, greenbacks, and uh, pinfish. So we're just gonna put probably, I don't know, a quarter of this stuff here in the bucket. And then, now what you want to do is mix it up with water. You don't want too much water in there. You want it to be like a, like a Play-Doh type of texture. Let me show you. All you need is literally a splash or two. Check this out. Like one, that's, that might be, that might be just plenty right there. Look at this here. So, oh yeah, mix it up. Uh, maybe we'll put we'll, we'll put one more splash in there. That's good right there. Oh yeah. Keep mixing it up. Let's uh let's start chumming. So the wind's blowing from our back. Um, so it's pushing the water out there. So what you want to do is probably just just keep tossing the chum out to my left a little bit so it disperses out that way and then I'm gonna get on the bow of the boat and just just cast net right around there because that's where the chum are gonna be at spend about five to ten minutes uh, doing this get them chummed up really good and then start throwing the cast net just keep chumming until uh I don't know until if you can see the flashes that'd be great but right now the water is so murky but usually i'll just chum until i start seeing flashes and then i'll start throwing the cast net all right i think i've chummed them up pretty good let's uh let's get the cast net out and then start throwing the cast net hopefully we get some right here here we go Ooh, banana it's so tough trying to throw uh, with this wind. Oh yeah, we got some. Good size pinners. We'll get more than that. We're gonna chum them up again after, uh, after I put these in the live well. Let's turn on the live well. Man, these guys are gonna get freaking annihilated. Look at this one here, this one's good. Oh no, I thought he went in. Oh, we got some greenbacks too, you see that? A greenback? That's a white bait right there. Actually, it's pilchard. That's a good one right there. Man, the grouper is gonna smash this bait here. I cannot wait. This guy's blocking the drain. All right, good deal. All right, let's make another cast. Loaded with bait, guys. I think that's it. 
check that out. White bait started showing up, but we got some pins in there. Good deal. All right, guys, we are loaded up with bait. We got greenbacks and pinfish. We're gonna go to our first spot, and hopefully the first spot produces fish. All right, let's go. We uh, just pulled up to the spot, but before we start fishing, I just want to show you guys one of the outfits we're going to be throwing for today. This right here, this rod here is a G Loomis IMX Pro Blue 20 to 65 pound class, 7 foot. And Shimano sent this to me. Danny sent me one of these to try out, so we're going to we're gonna try it out on the, uh, the Gag Grouper, see how, see how it handles. I bought the reel myself, that's a Shimano 5000 Twin Power HG 35 pound Andy Black Braid. And, um, I think we're running 80 pound uh, mono leader, 70 circle hook. All right, we just got to the spot, guys. We're gonna drop the uh, trolling motor and spot lock. Hopefully, the bite's on fire. Let's see. Hopefully they're home, man. Let's see. I'm stoked. I always get excited when we get grouper fishing. I don't know, man. Grouper just fights so good. I think they're like the strongest inshore fish. All right, let's drop our first bait down there. Pumped, man. Hopefully, hopefully they're home. Let's see. A lot of greenbacks, man. This size pinfish right there. We're just gonna hook them on the back, like so. Oh yeah, looks good. Drag's pretty tight. Close to lockdown. I'm afraid to really lock it down, but uh, we might have to lock it down here. We got a bird, man. Gosh, that was a beast. <laughs> Broke off, guys. Instantly. Wow. My heart is like pumping right now. <laughs> what a beast. First grouper, man. First bite of the day. And I got worked. Just retied using a FG knot with a risotto finish. Tighten it down now. Oh yeah, just like that. It's pretty good right there. Let's put a pinfish on and hopefully, hopefully they're still chewing. All right, let's send it. Every time I would cast that pinfish to the dock, it would swim out away from the dock. That's when you know there's predator fish underneath that dock. Yo, first one landed. Let's go. <laughs> Check him out, dude. Oh my gosh. About time. He ain't that big, but man, that's a that's a fighter right there, guys. So much fun, man. <laughs> I was able to get him out with just a 5,000 twin power SW. 30, uh, 35 pound liter and 50 pound I mean, a 35 pound main line and 50 pound leader, mono leader. All right, first one, man. He's probably 20 inches, 21 inches there. Good deal. First one of the day landed in the boat. All right, we're gonna get this guy back in the water now and uh, try to get on some more. We still got a lot of pinfish left and hopefully we can get some bigger ones. I know I got broke off on a, a grouper bigger than this one here. I felt the power. These things are a freaking powerhouse, man. All right, let's put them back in the water. I was not expecting that. Jeez, 
you try to let them go gently and they're like crashing. That's how they are, I guess, huh? All right, let's send another bait down there. Man, I'm pumped. I'm feeling good. Let's see. Look how many greenbacks we got, guys. Look at that. A lot of greenbacks. There we go, another pinfish going down. Just hooking them on the back like so. Letting him, sw letting him swim freely into Mr. Grouper's mouth. No weight or anything. Oops. There we go. He might get whacked. He might get whacked right there, guys. He swam straight down. Usually when they went, swim straight down, they're like right in the, in the strike zone. Oh. Whew, man. That was so close, guys. Jeez, that was so fast, too. Got me in the rock. Broke off at the leader. Look at that. <laughs> I brought my bigger outfit. Um, here's the other, the other outfit. Just in case I keep getting broken off. I brought this big dog right here. Plenty of bait in there still, man. Here we go. Let's lock this drag down. 33 pounds of max drag. Should be able to stop him. Let's go, baby. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Wow. About time, man. Let's go. Man, these guys fight. Straight digging. He ain't that big though. He's probably about the same size as the uh, the other one. But look at the leader, 80 pound, shredded. <laughs> that bite was so quick too, man. Caught me off guard, honestly. Man, let me uh, open this bill up real quick. Look at, look how, look at that leader, man. He almost. He almost broke it. Look how messed up that leader is. These guys are freaking tanks, man. They, f I mean, look at the look at the size of him. He's not even that big. Imagine like a, a 15, 10 pounder. You know, they just dog you. This is why you gotta have heavy enough gear to uh, to pull them out of the structure. Good deal. Let's get him back in the water. Pretty cool, man. Look at the color on. He's all lit up. Blue. See ya. <laughs> I swear, man, every time I release them, so, they're like, they're so aggressive. They're not like, you know, like your trout or snook where they just swim off gently or uh, your redfish. <sighs> Gotta love targeting grouper, man. One of my favorites. They'll put your gear to the test for sure. And you too, as an angler. All right, I think I'm done here, guys. Uh, I've spent like two hours over here, three hours almost. We're gonna go try something else. We're gonna use up all those greenbacks we have left in the uh, live well and uh, go for a snook, redfish, trout on the flats. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right guys, we just got to the spot where we're gonna be throwing the white bait. I just rigged up my uh, medium outfit, seven foot Shimano Zodias paired up with the 3000 size Shimano Accents, 10 pound braid and 20 pound Uzuri fluorocarbon leader. Let's get a bait. Good size pilcher, look at this. We're just gonna hook it through the nose, like so. Good there, and then we're gonna we're gonna send it underneath that dot there. What is this? A lizard fish. Good bait. Good snook bait. Oh, he wasn't even hooked. 
Still got my bait bag. We're gonna, we're gonna throw them out there. Still got the green bag. That's gonna be a wrap. We were throwing the green bags for, I don't know, 30 minutes or so, and not a single bite. It's been dead, man. Snook redfish trout on the flats in the wintertime. I don't know, maybe I need to start fishing the, uh, the oyster bars or some oyster bed. That's where the redfish are gonna be at. Maybe like more docks, but I was just working the docks here. Not a single bite, so it's been, it's been a struggle trying to find snook redfish trout, but uh, hope you guys are crushing it out there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one.